Hello, my name is Dion LeCoint. I am the head of IP technology for Sony's Imaging and Professional Solutions of America's division. During these trying times, we wanted to connect directly with you. By providing information about technology trends that are happening in the media and entertainment space, our hope is that we're able to share with you some of the things that we're seeing and going on in our marketplace and hopefully share with you our vision for the future of technology in this space. This presentation entitled The Next Paradigm Shift in IP, Virtualization and Orchestration will focus on workflows and technologies that are really enabling the future of the media and entertainment industry. We know that broadcasters face a number of challenges, growing demand for content, increased competition for viewers, pressure on your traditional revenue streams, and many others. But by implementing IP technology, there are solutions to those challenges. They give you the ability to manage costs, generate higher productivity, better utilize your resources, and create more high quality content. With more than 100 IP Live system installations globally to date, Sony has established itself as more than a technology provider. We are a trusted partner. Leveraging Sony's robust portfolio of hardware, software, and engineering services, we are able to work with content producers to guide them through their IP transition process. Some of those content producers includes the names you see here, which include ATV in Turkey, the CBC in Canada, CCTV in China, the NFL Network in the United States, and Group TVA, also in Canada. Last year, we announced a powerful partnership with Nevion, a worldwide leader in real-time IP media networks and virtualization. With SIMT2110 now fully integrated into our products, we are broadening IP effectiveness with control and orchestration software for facilities and across enterprises. Through this partnership, Sony and Nevian have been able to create the end-to-end -end IP Live production platform, a multi-layered software solution that includes the IP solutions from Sony and best-in-class solutions from Nevian. This platform includes a number of various features and functions, including facilities management, broadcast control, orchestration and SDN control for the network, as well as video, audio, and data LAN WAN transport. This platform acts as your broadcast network controller managing devices, connections, and network resources. A live production orchestration tool allowing you to dynamically aggregate, configure, and schedule the usage of production resources, as well as a network orchestration and monitoring tool giving intelligence to networks that allows for dynamic network reconfigurations and redundancy. The solution suite also leverages the extensibility of SDN so that content producers can build IP environments within a single facility or an enterprise network environment spanning vast geographical regions. The facility management layer is driven by Sony's Live Element Orchestrator. It offers live workflow-centric configuration and monitoring and a unified device configuration and monitoring solution. The broadcast control layer is driven by Sony's Live System Manager. This offers routing, tally, name management, and all of the other functions you would expect to find in a traditional broadcast facility router. Orchestration and SDN control layer is driven by Nevion's Video iPath. This is where you'll find dynamic network configuration, SDN, and IP stream routing, allowing you to build those dynamic intelligent networks spanning a LAN or enterprise WAN connecting your production resources. This is what facility management offers you. Imagine the concept of dynamic studio control room assignment. Here you have what you might consider a traditional broadcast facility layout. You have four studios, two control rooms, all connected to a machine room with shared production resources. Using the facility management layer, 
you're now able to dynamically assign the resources in your machine room to connect control room A with studio number one and control room B with studio number two. By enabling a preset that's set in the Live Element Orchestrator solution, you can now transition control of Studio 3 to Control Room B and Studio 4 to Control Room A. On top of that, Studio 3 could be running in 4K, Studio 4 could be running in HD. Studio 3 could be located in your facility, Studio 4 could be located thousands of miles away in another production facility that's connected to this facility via an IP network. This leverages features that already exist in our products, like the XVS switcher, which allows you to split the switcher into two logical switchers, one potentially running in 4K, while the other logical switcher running in HD. Another powerful feature offered by the platform through the orchestration and SDN control layer is LAN-WAN convergence. Production resources can now connect via an enterprise LAN or enterprise WAN network environment. Local and remote production resources can be treated as one, offering fully integrated production chains and unmatched scalability. You also have the added benefit of streams being transmitted through the enterprise WAN or LAN in a compressed or uncompressed environment using the audio, video, and data transport layer also offered by the platform. The platform enables our customers to create shared production environments, build dynamically scaled networks, automate production workflows, schedule resources and services, and flexibly use resource pools, really virtualizing those resources on demand. The platform also enables a number of powerful optimized workflows driven by IP. They include remote production, which has already been in place for a number of years, in-facility shared production, inter-facility shared production, and shared production amongst OB vans. Let's walk through these in the next few slides. Remote production, or REMI, is a workflow that has already been in use for a number of years by content producers. It allows for fewer production staff to be needed on site at the remote location. And it also allows for production staff at master control or your broadcast facility to produce more than one event or show on the same day without the need for travel. A great example of a solution in Sony's portfolio that allows for better remote production workflows is the new HDCE TX30. This solution offers the ability to create SIMT2110 or NMOS connections directly at the camera head with or without the need of a CCU. By connecting this solution to a camera head via a SIMT fiber cable, you're able to get all of your traditional camera signals in a SIMT2110 stream that you can directly connect to the network. In-facility shared production is really allowing studios and control rooms to share production equipment that is within a single facility. It allows you to have more effective and efficient use of those production resources. For example, utilizing a production switcher that is traditionally dark throughout the day for Remy in the afternoon when it's not being used. It can allow for the changing the combinations between control rooms and studios by utilizing the Live Element Orchestrator or the Facility Management Layer in the end-to-end -end platform. Shared production amongst OB vans has long been the holy grail of mobile production. Imagine having a home and away truck from two mobile production truck providers with different IP networks connecting to each other using a single network via SDN and now able to share camera chains able to share high frame rate streams and able to share production resources to put on a large sporting or live entertainment event. And then there is inter-facility shared production, connecting multiple production facilities in IP so that they can share production resources across an enterprise LAN or enterprise WAN. 
Imagine a production switcher stationed in Los Angeles being used to run a show in New York during the morning show hours and then dynamically being reallocated to the Los Angeles facility in the afternoon. The same can be done for graphics. The same can be done for replay, all by virtue of IP and a network dynamically controlled by SDN and your production resources dynamically controlled by facility management, allowing you to book a resource very much in the same way you would book a conference room in your own office. Sony's portfolio of IP-enabled products has continued to grow. We are very proud to say that any product in our live production portfolio is SIMT2110 ready. We're also very proud to say that they support the latest interoperability standards from ANWA, NMOS ISO 4, and ISO 5 through the Joint Task Force on Network Media. As I stated earlier, IP really represents a transformative change for the media and entertainment market. If you are considering building a new facility or retrofitting your existing production facility, you should absolutely be considering IP. And hopefully you are also considering reaching out to Sony to help guide you through your transition process into an IP facility. For more information on Sony's IP production solutions, please feel free to visit pro.sony. Thank you very much for your time.